Hello students, welcome to Learner's Planet. Uh, in today's session, we are going to give you a brief idea about how the urine formation occurs in the human body. Right? This urine formation is very important as it is the way of uh, removing the toxic substances in our body and of course it helps in regulating the water level in our body. Right? For this, you all know very well that there is a developed organ system in our body or in the higher organisms which is known as the excretory system. Right? So let us brief out. Uh, we Let us give you the tips that how you can uh, recall the, uh, the process and the system, the excretory system uh, within a very uh, less time. So if we have to study about the process of urine formation, initially we must know that which system is uh, involved in this process. As we stated already that it is the excretory system. So here is the picture which is showing the uh, different parts of the excretory system. The very first part is the kidney, right? So this kidney, it is a bean shaped structure which is located in the upper abdominal cavity towards dorsal side, right? Uh, and of course the two kidneys, it is present in a pair and each kidney is not exactly located at the same level, right? The left kidney it is slightly above the right kidney. Now both these kidneys, they are receiving the uh, blood from the major artery which is known as the renal artery. So these renal artery, they are carrying, they are transporting the blood from your uh, uh, body into the kidneys where the renal arterioles and the capillaries are formed and further they, uh, the blood which is transported here is going to be filtered out. And during this filtration process, the toxins which are present or the waste material or the extra uh, metallic salts, uh, I'm sorry, the extra ions which are present over there, they all are going to be filtered out, right? So these renal artery, they are carrying the blood and they're transporting it into the uh, kidney. Now once the blood is filtered, now it has to be transported further in the entire body and prior to that it has to be carried to the heart for the uh, oxygenation. Right. So this uh, filtered blood is further transferred into the renal vein and this renal vein which is receiving this filtered blood and is transferring it to the heart. Fine. Now these kidneys as we said the filtration is done inside the kidney. Now further, the waste which is filtered out or the filtrate which is present here, that is going to be uh, involved in the process of the urine formation. The extra water or whatever extra material, extra required things present in this filtrate is recollected by the body. Is uh, It is uh, transferred back into the cells or in the blood through the process of the, uh, uh, this, um, I'm sorry, uh, absorption or the osmosis. Right, and of course, then after that, uh, the waste which is still left out, the toxins, the extra salts present, the extra ions, they all will, uh, they are going to form the urine. Right, now this urine which is produced or which is uh, uh, formed here in the kidney is going to be, it has to be eliminated out from the body. Isn't it? So that is done with the help of this pair of ureter. The tubes which are coming out, which are arising from the pelvic region of the kidney and then it is uh, connected with this uh, urinary bladder which is, uh, which is situated in the uh, lower abdomen. Right. Here in this urinary bladder, the urine is collected. When this urine bladder, uh, urinary bladder is filled completely, then the, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, urine is removed out through a small tube which is known as the urethra. So this is how this uh, excretory system is present in our body. Right? Now the point is that how the urine is formed. What is the mechanism behind this urine formation? So this urine formation occurs inside the kidney and the functional unit of kidney is known as the nephron. Here is the structure which is showing, which is revealing out the structure here uh, of this nephron. So this nephron is, uh, it is consist, uh, it consists of three major parts. That is Bowman's capsule, then there is a renal tubule and this collecting duct or the collecting tubule, right? Uh, this Bowman's capsule is towards the outer side of the kidney. It is somewhere on, it is towards the uh, cortex region of the kidney. Cortex region means the outer layer. 
right then in the middle these tubules are present and further the collecting ducts or uh, the collecting tubules are present which is further unitedly connected with the ureters to uh, to uh, pass the urine which is produced or which is formed inside the nephron so these are the basic structures here uh, and this uh, uh, nephron the important qualities of the nephron is that that they are uh, having the uh, semi permeable or selectively permeable membrane and this thickness of this membrane is of course not uniform right it varies from bowman's capsule up to the further regions here and this variation in the thickness will allow the uh, filtration all, uh, in the uh, subsequent regions that means in the uh, bowman's capsule the caps uh, this wall is highly permeable so this blood is filtered out here in this bowman's capsule now how this is filtered here it is possible because these uh, renal arteries and the uh, uh, these arteries they have formed the capillaries inside and they are forming a sort of bunch of blood capillaries inside the bowman's capsule so inside this capsule what is happening the filtration will take place capillaries they are having a very thin cell wall uh, i'm sorry the thin uh, uh, wall isn't it so from this thin wall what will happen the blood is going to be filtered out so most of the things are filtered out from here and the remaining blood is going to pass out further in the efferent arteriole right now the filtrate which has been collected here is further passed into the tubules tubular part of the nephron and why is it possible because this bowman's capsule is having a very uh, highly permeable membrane right so after this filtration the filtrate is further uh, flowing is in this tubule and this tubule is again having the varying thickness so accordingly when it is passing out through this the filtration or the uh, osmosis and this uh, diffusion is taking place so that the extra material which has been filtered out from the blood but still required by the body is further reabsorbed into the system right and the remaining filtrate is then transferred into the collecting tubule so uh, this uh, the functional unit of uh, kidney that is a nephron is the major part or it is a masterpiece we can say masterpiece of the excretory system why because the urine formation occurs inside the nephron so this is a flow chart which is actually showing the mechanism or the steps involved in the uh, formation of urine and its removal from the body so initially as we said the filtration occurs in the glomerulus right in the bowman's capsule isn't it so basically uh, this filtration is taking place and we are saying it is removing out the toxic substances or the waste material from the body so basically which is the major thing which has to be removed out uh, from the body which is serving as a toxic substance here so uh, in the normal uh, persons right uh, the uh, this uh, uh, in the i'm sorry the liver is actually converting the uh, nitrogenous waste into the uh, nitrogenous wa uh, waste into urea right so what happens initially the uh, the liver it is involved in the formation of urea and urea is actually a nitrogenous waste so this nitrogenous waste is further removed or it is it, can, it is uh, uh, it is uh, tr uh, transferred or it is transported into the renal artery or we can say the renal artery is collecting this urea rich blood from the liver and then it is transporting it to the kidney this urea is highly toxic for our body right and further after uh, being uh, transported through the renal artery it is transported to the kidneys inside the kidney what we said which is the functional unit is it is the nephron so inside the nephron the glomerulus there are millions of glomerulus or there are nef ne millions of uh, nephrons in the uh, kidney right so these glomerulus they are these are the bunch of uh, blood capillaries which is involved in the process of ultra filtration that means the blood is totally filtered here in the glomerulus and the filtrate which is produced here is known as the nephric filtrate this nephric filtrate where it is going go for the definitely in the bowman's capsule so from the bowman's capsule then it is transferred to the loop of hanley if this transfer does not occur what will happen uh, 
the reverse uh, reversely uh, the uh, these things may go back into the capillaries also isn't it but it does not happen why so because the uh, bowman's capsules they are having highly permeable membrane so as soon as these nef this nephric filtrate is uh, collected here it is further drained into the or it is transferred into the loop of hanley or in the uh, tubular part of the nephron and while crossing through this nephron or the tubular part there is the reabsorption reabsorption of what reabsorption of those substances which are uh, which are which has been filtered from the blood but is essentially or it is quite important for the body it is not a waste so even those the particles which are actually required by the body even if it is transferred it is filtered out it will be reabsorbed in the tubular part of the nephron over there what are those basic things which are reabsorbed actually these are glucose amino acid salts water and so on whatever is important which is required that will be reabsorbed here and now further uh, after this reabsorption the things becomes diluted isn't it now further it will as it is proceeding further uh, in case if the uh, things has been uh, removed out or it has been uh, uh, transferred into the surrounding cells or in the tissue fluid it will be reabsorbed back into the uh, nephron into the tubular part right so reabsorption is taking place in a way like uh, important things they are uh, uh, coming into the tissue fluid and the waste present in the tissue fluid is drained back into the uh, this uh, tubule right now from the here the urine is produced the filtrate now which is left out in the uh, tubular part is actually the urine and this is going to be transferred it is uh, transferred into the collecting duct now these collecting duct from different nephrons uh, they are going to form the common uh, unit which is known as a ureter so this urine which is formed here is transferred into the ureter these ureters they are uh, Uh, they are the tubular parts present in a pair arising from each particular kidney of either side and then it is connected with the urinary bladder this urinary bladder is a, a bag like structure present in the lower abdominal cavity right and when it is filled out the urine uh, this uh, urine is passed out to the outside through the uh, no, uh, through a small tube known as the urethra and this process of releasing out of the urine from the body is known as the micturition so you can see the summary that how the urine is produced what type of waste is uh, removed out from it and uh, of course how the process takes place so further we will uh, summarize some different uh, for systems or the functions or some typical processes taking place in our body and uh, we are going to give you the tips that how we can uh, Uh, summarize them and how we can learn them out so we'll meet you in the next session till then goodbye thank you so much